format. It was so dangerous that you got to do this. So they practiced in a format very similar to uh, Chaka's pre arranged form. Hey, Mate, stop. Seven main techniques in judo. Uh, there's uh, quite a few more that we use, but uh, they're showing 15 today. Uh, the question was, do you need upper body strength? It helps, but the, the idea is to throw using efficiency. Thank <laughs> you. 
What is the, the question was, what is the difference between karate and judo? Uh, karate, basically, we do a lot of striking and kicking. Um, in judo, in the sport of judo, we use the throwing method. We saw the arm bar and we saw the choke. Those are the three methods of uh, uh, winning. Uh, a little bit later, we'll show you the martial arts portion. We retain uh, the kicking, striking, uh, and that type of thing in the form, this, this type of form. But in competition, we're not allowed to hit or kick. Yeah, one person throws, the other person takes the ball. <laughs> By the way, uh, it only takes about six to seven pounds of pressure to the elbow to pop it. If he, if he doesn't give up, he's allowed to break his arm.
has the stick. Good job, guys. Okay, now that we've seen some judo, what we're going to do is take a step back into what there was before judo. And what we're trying to do is we're going back to the roots of judo. Uh, so, Kunasara Sensei. Sensei is eight degree black belt, and somebody says that's not black belt. It's very normal. Uh, but in judo, after we've achieved six degree, we're allowed to wear red and white belt uh, for purpose of uh, shows like this. For when we're teaching, we wear red and white belt. Um, let's see. Uh, sensei, can you introduce? Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, seems like uh, this is the first time you are seeing uh, uh, martial art. So I can explain to you a little bit uh, quick, quickly what, what that uh, judo is and uh, what we are for in the day. Before that, uh, uh, we have a Jukendo organization here promoting uh, original judo, what's that, that, that judo coming from. And uh, my assistant here, uh, he graduated the uh, uh, university in the Google University in Japan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and he's assisting right now. And uh, his name is Tsubasa Koya. Thank uh, you. I'm going to be to the And, to the to, uh, to, uh, and uh, right next is the uh, uh, background of Kyokushin Karate. And uh, someone asked for karate, what's the difference? To show that the difference uh, between you and uh, karate. Then the team and third degree you can go. And right next to uh, uh, Mr. Sato is a Firas. He's a college green belt. He's a very beginning of the judo. But uh, uh, he has been doing very well. So last three tournaments he took first place. And he <laughs> uh, he, he told me, he said, I'm going to go to Japan to train and become black belt. Well, when are you going? Next week. 
So I said, please uh, introduce all your friends. I said, you're too quick. And <laughs> I, I need a time to send a uh, letter. But uh, I have internet now, so maybe it's <laughs> too OK. Today, uh, uh, I'd like to show, first of all, uh, before, uh, the, the, a lot of the, uh, the uh, junior and the demonstrator, that we call Olympic uh, sports judo, which is uh, uh, like a, maybe how many people know that this is the only first uh, Olympic sport from uh, uh, martial art, uh, which is uh, the judo. 1964, Tokyo Olympic, that's what they started. And now, another martial art that they added was the Taekwondo from Korea, and the only two martial art in Olympic uh, sports. So what happened is uh, judo came from very vital uh, the technique eliminating enemy without the weapon, like a samurai era. So that's what the judo that developed in the fighting <coughs> art, keeping out uh, to uh, enemy. But uh, that is too vital, so uh, uh, long run uh, judo eliminated a lot of uh, uh, vital technique that's hurting other people. So uh, that's why they found more judo sports, right? So what we're going to go showing to you today is original one, very powerful and then uh, very vital. Uh, just a history a little bit. Maybe you can see the, the person uh, right there back, right there. Uh, he is the uh, original Duro Kano, the right hand man, who uh, went to uh, West Point. Uh, uh, <coughs> Theodore Roosevelt was a judo lover, and he invited top judo class to his uh, uh, White House, and then uh, uh, that's what happened in introducing to the uh, United States. And uh, he's the one, actually what happened was, uh, West Point, he got invited, and then but the president's coach doesn't like, the even the president invited to uh, the West Point to adapt it. It's an art. But the uh, wrestling uh, uh, coach said, no, 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 let me see that the, the, you, uh, you guys, how good those uh, art is. And that they challenge, and uh, you know, we are touching the back of the, uh, our, our back touching on the mat is uh, still okay. But the wrestling, they lose. So they lost, because the rule different. <laughs> and then uh, uh, they cannot uh, uh, teach, so they decline. They have a pride, and then they decline the, the, the teaching offer. So uh, uh, that the Mr. Maida cannot live without uh, earning. So he started going with professional fight to against anybody. That's what started modern MMA. Can you see the UFC? That, that he started. Almost uh, uh, 100 years ago, he started, he's the one started to challenge, accepting challenge because the only way to he can show the judo to the public. And so I accepted the fight as a boxer, wrestler, any uh, fighter. And very strong because it's a very different kind of technique. And so he defeated over 2,000 fight and then uh, uh, without moving. So uh, uh, that's a tremendous amount of a fight he did. And then uh, how many people know that it's called Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? Nobody? Up your heart, and you know, there are a lot of the UFC fighters coming from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's the one top to the uh, Brazilian people. So that's what the, all these uh, uh, right now, and then there is starting by this uh, uh, Mr. Maeda, who is the right hand man of uh, the Hiro Okano's uh, student. Okay, so uh, you don't have too much time, I know, so I'm going to uh, uh, show you and it may be too fast for you to uh, some of the move, and so I can uh, uh, slow down. Uh, by the way, I uh, train the US uh, war team of coaching, so uh, uh, what I do is uh, this one, <laughs> so you can see. And uh, uh, also I'm a uh, Japanese uh, war team member, so uh, that you can see, so otherwise you don't know that what, what it is, maybe it's uh, just a new instructor, or is a top judo player, used to be, and so on, okay? All right, um, let's see. 
Uh, before that, uh, Mrs. Sato is going to show you who, who asked the karate, the difference between karate and the Okay, karate is okay, striking art. So I want you to see. Here. Okay, so this is a striking art. And kicks, and the side kicks, and all those are names. Uh, that's what the uh, most uh, karate is uh, striking, kicking, and could you do just a little bit of uh, quick move? <laughs> so you can see that the Zampati technique and the technique is uh, good strikes. Okay. Now we're going to go to into uh, uh, Ajin Kendo. Uh, uh, one more thing I forgot. Uh, this is a uh, uh, modern day judo uniform, Olympic rule judo uniform. Has to have a lens, has to have a, a space, and uh, all kind of rule. But the uh, old day, that wasn't uh, this uniform. So uh, I uh, uh, made this uniform to all the day of uh, fitting, right? So I will just show you. Where do I get one? <laughs>
Okay, you saw choking and the throwing. The only that we attack any part of the body. So here you can see next one. Everything. 
So uh, what you can do is all combine. That's what the all the two works. And that's what the, the developer kind of wants to develop. Combine, strike, punch, take down, and the submission. Uh, if you, anyone wants to, uh, like to, <laughs> I can give you a lesson. This is a good exercise, I don't want to show you that. <laughs> Anyway, uh, beside the point, your grandson, uh, uh, your son, daughter, wants to learn. We have some information uh, uh, for you. And uh, this is a new organization growing up right now. So uh, uh, please tell us a fantastic show I saw today. Right? <laughs> uh, this is the only book about uh, this man. Uh, the title is The Toughest Man Who Ever Lived. And then uh, this uh, uh, book is uh, you can get in by Amazon with uh, downloading uh, uh, only 999. <laughs> only 999. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you donate it? <laughs> so uh, you can uh, download and also you can uh, get by a hard cover copy. Even if you like someone, and I have a full pack of them in here, I can always grab them. Right? Okay. I think, you had, uh, I think you had a good time here today, right? <laughs> I think you had a good time here today, right? I think you had a good time here today, right? We will take you back uh, on the bus shortly, but we had a little... What was the question, I'm sorry? Oh, okay. How, she, her question was, how could I protect myself against something like this? I also teach uh, self-defense at UCLA uh, to the coeds, and the, the biggest thing I can tell you is never get into trouble in the first place. So, no, really, this is important. Uh, if you put yourself in a situation where it's dangerous, there's very little you can do. But if you're aware of the surroundings, it will save you. It will help you. Uh, there's very little training that you can do. In, and it takes a long time to be this good, especially at a world-class level. And so uh, either you start very early in life, okay, or take preventive measures. That's, that's the best. Okay? And I, I like to, yes? You think that black blue marks on their body can their I can answer that. Yes. <laughs> no. In, in early days, in, when uh, I was starting out, I used to get bruises all over my body. But my body adapted and that uh, I don't get bruises anymore. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. In any of these demonstrations, are the opponents that are being thrown, are they cooperating in any way? Are they resisting? Or is it just... Uh, being thrown by, by the uh, perpetrator. Okay, uh, the, the question was, are the both parties doing the full contact? The answer is yes, they are cooperating with each other to an extent. Okay, because if they don't, by the way, if they resisted, parts of the body is going to fly off. Okay, that's how hard these guys are applying the technique. So. If, both parties are not cooperating. There will be some injuries. Okay, one last question. Yes? What age can they start? Ah, good question. Uh, we have several programs. Uh, we normally start kids at six years old. I have a program that's uh, designed for three, four, and five-year-olds. It's, it's a very special class, but it's designed to just motivate the kids to work with each other and learn to fall without getting hurt. I think that's very important because these kids get on bicycles, skateboards, so I teach them fall, to fall and uh, make sure their body's protected. Or, or, or boys and girls, yes. How old can you be? How old can you be? I want to put them on the, how, how old are you, Yeah, it, 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 
it's for all ages. Now, Phil is, it is absolutely, yes, teaches discipline. Uh, it's uh, hard work, but it does pay off for you. Well, thank you very much for your... Uh, Thank you.